Hi, my name is James Clem. How do I finish Lava Ultimate chair side? Once it's milled, they just drop right in. With your parameters right on and your acquisition in 4.0, extremely simplified. <laughs> it's significantly simplified. These restorations are just dropping in. Polish works really well. So how do I finish my Lava Ultimates? First thing I do once the restoration comes out of the milling unit, and hopefully I have an angle where the sprue location's not on the proximal contact, I'll seat the restoration to make sure my margins are right on, my proximal contact is on. I don't necessarily check the occlusion at this time because of having the parameters dialed home, and that's in the parameter section on Sarah lift off, that's chapter five. Once you get your parameters down and your system of taking the buckle scan is on, the occlusion just is so accurate. The next step is to refine the grooves. For that purpose, I use a inverted 35 cone. I use that in my high hand speed. It's fairly easy to use that. We're used to using that approach. Uh, you can buy these for your direct straight hand lab piece, probably not quite as effective here. Once the grooves are completed, I used the blue Meisinger knife wheel. That's gonna be part of the Klim Meisinger lab kit. So the blue wheel is taken to polish the margins. Do not polish the proximal contact. You don't wanna open that contact up in the proximal zone. The next step is to take a stiff Robinson wheel with the medium die shine and do your bulk polish with that using a very slow RPM. The slow RPM allows the bristles to reach and spring into those groove areas. So you want to use firm pressure, low RPM, use medium die shine. You'll be amazed at how fast that polishes up. Once it's looking pretty good, then I'm going to transfer over to the fine die shine using the same approach, slow RPMs, so those bristles can spring down into those grooves, and you'll be amazed at how fast the finish will happen. Be careful polishing the proximal contact. The proximal contact is only polished with die shine. I do not use any other means to polish that area. I want to avoid opening up the proximal contact. Within the parameter section, I want plus 50 for my Lava Ultimate in the interproximal zone. What's the color coding? In other words, what does your color combination look like? It's going to be solid green with a few speckles of yellow. Knock on wood, it's clockwork. Hope that helps with the finishing process of just polishing. We're going to have another video for what we call characterizing and that's where we're going to add some composite colors and use a sealer to get that really natural look for those that are really into fully in their hygienist. <laughs> you know what I mean by that. If you can make a restoration look so natural that even your hygienist doesn't know it's a restoration, it's a rush. And that's where I have my fun. Talk to you later.